welcome back to Rotorua. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying Finn and Duncan's latest videos. Um, I haven't been posting or making any videos recently, but I should be back into it now. Um, yeah, just climbing up front all the bottom me now. I've climbed all the way up from the Blue Lake car park. Um, I haven't actually done this climb before, so that's a first. Today's video is going to be a wee bit different. Um, up until now, I've owned the GoPro Hero 7. And that's been pretty good, especially when it's mounted to the chin bar on a full fade. It only had Hypersmooth 1, which didn't really cut it on the chest mount. So I've just got the Hero 8 with Hypersmooth 2.0. And today's test is literally just going to be how well it handles the chest mount. And I'll still compare it to the chin bar on the full face. There's going to be a few scenarios where the chin bar is always always going to be the better option. But I don't always like wearing it, especially for like enduro racing or any sort of chill days where I want to do a bit of climbing. It doesn't help that it's obvious. It doesn't help that it's a proper old 661 downhill helmet. I'll probably look at getting maybe like an enduro full face, like a TLD stage or a IXS trigger full face for the summer. And then I won't overheat and still be able to have the GoPro on the chin bar. If this works out well, I'll definitely stick with the chest mount. And if it's real rough stuff, I'll probably stick with the full face. But for sort of a mix of trails, I just want to see which one will be better. Um, so this is sort of a test for me to see as well as everyone watching to see. Make sure to leave a comment saying which one you prefer. But yeah, hopefully Hyper Smooth 2 does its job. Dropped into Eagle vs Shark. This is one of the fastest parts in the whole forest. Oh, my eyes are going blurry. The Hero 7 definitely couldn't handle this on the chest. So we'll see if this works. Feeling good. Oh, oh, got a bit excited there. <laughs> Gonna 
pull off here from Smoker. Another thing I'm trying is 60 frames per second. I've been using 30 in the past. Because it, it tends to make you look like you're going faster. Oh, it's windy. Oh yeah, that's good. But I've seen a few other videos and 60 frames just looks so smooth. Even if it doesn't look as fast. So giving that a go. The only issue is you can't film at 4K and 60 frames a second and have hyper smooth on Muddier than I thought. Hopefully that didn't get the lens. Oh! have the full face on. Don't know if you can see that. I've driven to another part of the forest so that I can do a different track for the full face part of today's video. So I'm now climbing to the top of Tutiata which is a super fun trail and it's the trail I'm going to use to see how the GoPro looks on the full face. I'm pretty confident it's going to look pretty sweet. Um, but this is sort of the scenario where having it on the full face isn't ideal. This is a long climb trail, nice and scenic as you can see, but with the downhill helmet on, sucks. Um, but hopefully proper enduro full face should do the trick. Um, yeah, like I was saying the, before, the um, IXS trigger, apparently it's supposed to be one of the lightest and most breathable on the market. That would change things a lot, but obviously nothing beats climbing without any full face on and just with a half shell. I haven't seen any of the footage of the chesty down Eagle vs Shark yet. There are a couple of, a couple of points on that trail where I could feel the chest mount 
flopping back and forth on my chest when it got really rough and those are the sort of parts where the Hero 7 just did not cut it at all it just fully shook about um, so yeah fingers crossed the 8 does a lot better just up here is where Tutiata crosses the climb trail um, it's a bit of a bit of a gap jump from there to there not much of a road gap more of a trail gap but we'll be coming down there very shortly all right final part of the climb up to Tutiata well it's less than ideal Luckily, there's a second way. All right, dropping into Tutiata. GoPro's on the chin bar. Let's see how she goes. Off camber. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's actually not as wet as I thought. That's feeling good. Fork is feeling so good, so plush. This is where it gets real off camber. Oh, eyes are watering up again, that's great. Ooh, I was hanging onto the side knobs there. Set up high for that one, which is good. Oh, that's clay. Oh, two wheel drifting. Take the high line. Yes. Oh, so wet. Oh, shit. Come on, come on. Oh, that was way too close. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. oh my god. Oh geez, there are a few close calls there. So I think it's pretty clear to see that the um, stabilization is definitely best on the chin bar of the full face helmet. Although Hypersmooth 2.0 is clearly a lot better than um, the Hero 7 when it's on the chest mount, um, I'll definitely be using the chin bar mounted GoPro for most applications. If it comes to the right time and the right scenario where I definitely need to use the chesty, I'm glad that um, Hypersmooth 2.0 can definitely pull it off. Um, but yeah, once I get a light, uh, another lightweight full face helmet, I'll set up the GoPro on that and yeah, most of the coming videos will be filmed with that set up because it looks pretty good. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more videos to come.